Are you holding yourself back from what you want and don't even know it? I didn't realize I was doing it either. I had no idea I was actually blocking my own success. But once I saw it, everything shifted. And here's the best part. It wasn't about starting a new business, grinding harder, or reading a ton of books. No extra hours, no burnout. I became a millionaire by removing the blocks in my mind, and honestly, it took way less effort than you'd think. So if you could do the same, not by doing more, but by doing less, whether it's money, love, health, or success you're after, this is how you get it. Let me show you how to stop standing in your own way. What changed my life was realizing that what I want doesn't come from outside of me. It comes from within. It's like the universe or God isn't sending you anything. It's more like you already are or aren't what you want to become. We're often tricked into thinking that the world outside is in control and we just react to it. For example, when no one would publish my first book, I thought maybe I wasn't good enough or was too young, that my goal of being a successful author was impossible. Or when I wanted to meet the perfect partner, what couldn't, I thought maybe I wasn't attractive enough, or maybe soulmates were just fairy tales. In 2018, I set my sights on becoming a millionaire as an author and YouTuber. But back then, my videos barely hit 100 views, and I had only around 1,000 subscribers. I thought it was impossible, too much competition, too little skill. I believed the outside world was saying, you can't do this, and I felt powerless. But here's the thing, you're either reacting to the world or creating it. I realized that my self-doubt and fear were shaping my reality. Publishers rejected me again and again, and I had two choices, give up or self-publish and sell the book myself. Then I met a marketer who sent one email and I sold 1000 copies overnight. Soon after, a YouTube expert helped me go viral. In less than two years, I'd sold enough to land a major publishing deal and made my first million in just five years. The lesson? Don't let the facts define you. When you create your reality, everything can change. It made me think of what Paulo Coelho wrote in The Alchemist. Once you make a decision, all the universe conspires to help you achieve it. The question is, how do you get the universe to work in your favor? How do you make things happen with less struggle? Let's break it down into three simple steps so you can bring in the money, love, house, health, and relationships you want. Step one. Decide what you want and become it. This sounds simple, but most people don't really decide what they want. They settle or set goals based on what they think is possible. Wallace Waddles once said, to think what you want to think, regardless of appearances, is truth. Most people only believe what they see, but he's saying truth is thinking what you want to think, no matter how things look now. So ask yourself what you really want, not what you think you can get. For me, I wanted to be a millionaire author. I figured if 10 or 15 publishers turned me down, I'd still print my own books and sell them myself. I trained my mind every day. I'd listen to a success hypnosis track telling me I was a millionaire author and speaker, inspiring millions. I wrote it on a piece of paper hundreds of times. I am a millionaire author inspiring millions of people. Mike Dooley puts it simply, I'm a happy, spiritual millionaire. Try writing that down or even comment it below. Step two, ignore the facts and your senses. Stop reacting to the outside world. The outside world is just showing you what you believe deep down. Back then, I thought I was too young and not smart enough. I even believed I wasn't that focused because I struggled in school. When publishers turned me down, I thought it proved I wasn't smart. But that's because I was letting my five senses control my beliefs. If you keep looking at what is right now, 
you'll never create what's coming next. Step three, start somewhere like Bob Marley said. Bob Marley once said, if you don't start somewhere, you're never going to get nowhere. The outside world only reflects where your mind has been. So if you base what you think is possible on what you see outside, you're just repeating the past. You break free by challenging those limits. For example, I could've easily thought, all the publishers rejected me, so maybe it's not meant to be. But that would've just been me letting my senses limit me. Sometimes we think things aren't meant to be, but really, we're just holding ourselves back by listening too much to the world around us. You've got to start somewhere if you want to break free from your own beliefs. To get past my own limiting beliefs, I had to face reality head on, like stepping into the ring with it. I realized reality wasn't this big, scary thing with power over me. It only had control because I believed it did. Reality only has the power you give it. So, start somewhere. It's not about following some strict rule or doing exactly what others tell you. It doesn't have to be. I must do this business because the business coach said so, or I have to act this way because a dating coach recommended it. It's about starting, so you can see that a lot of what you thought was true was just an illusion. When you take that first step, you cross that invisible barrier in your mind. Once you're on the other side, new possibilities start to appear. Let's say you wanted to be a YouTuber, but things didn't work out, so you stopped. One way to think would be, it's just not meant to be, since you don't have the results you hoped for. But remember, if you don't start somewhere, you're never going to get anywhere. Feel free to comment that below. Another way would be to say, I'm not taking this as the final answer, and keep making videos. Or maybe in dating, you're thinking, I guess all the good ones are taken. But what if you believed the right person could just show up, even in the grocery aisle? Just taking action, any action, creates new energy that brings in new people, events, and opportunities. Deep down, we create these limits ourselves, just so we can learn their illusions. And the only way to see through those illusions is to keep moving forward. If you liked this video, hit like, subscribe, turn on notifications and comment, I create my reality below. If you're stuck or if things are going okay, but you can't seem to reach that next level, don't overthink it. You don't need a million strategies. Just focus on reprogramming your subconscious mind. All you have to do is listen to it for a few minutes every day, and you'll start noticing things shift in your life. Money, new people, and good luck will start showing up because your subconscious mind controls 95% of your life. Think of it like this. It wasn't the tip of the iceberg that sank the Titanic. It was what was hidden below. In the same way, we can't see our subconscious limits, but they're affecting our lives. The good news is, you can reprogram that hidden part and turn it into a magnet for what you want. All it takes is a few minutes each day.